Hey guys, so I am 14 weeks and I guess three days pregnant today. So that's very exciting. So now I am in my second trimester. As far as I was concerned, I was in my second trimester on week 13, but for some people, 14 weeks is the second trimester. So I'm finally there. And I can't believe that I am already in my second trimester. It's crazy. Time is flying by. I just can't believe it. And I'm sure I'm going to say that every week, but it really is crazy. It felt like forever for me to get this far along with Eva. So this time, it's just crazy how fast time's going. So anyway, for this week, I have... I'm still feeling tired, like really tired at night, but during the day my energy level is back quite a bit. It's not the same as it was before, but it's a lot better than it was like a few weeks ago. I'm not napping during the day, which I, maybe I should be napping during the day, but I've been so busy with Christmas shopping and organizing everything for Christmas and having Steve come home and Steve go back to work and Eva be home all the time with me and driving me crazy all day long, getting into everything and she's just starting to get really really brave and like climbing things and like all of a sudden today I look over and she's like standing on our coffee table which totally freaked me out. And then our dog Momo had to go to the vet. She has a congenital liver disease and she has a liver shunt. So unfortunately basically I guess her body, like her liver, isn't really being used as a filter like it should be, so it doesn't filter out any poisons that she gets into her body, so she's almost like poisoning her own blood, from what my understanding is of what's wrong with her. And she had kind of an episode and was really, really ill, so we had to take her to the vet, and she had to be on an IV overnight, and she's... She's better now, though, and she's home, but she's feeling very, very sorry for herself. So I'm just trying to take good care of my, my two babies now, Eva and Momo, and then, of course, the baby in my belly. So anyway, for this week, other than feeling tired, I am still very nauseous, so I'm still taking diclectin, I'm still taking gravel, and I'm also taking low sec which is like for acid reflex and just is to reduce the acidity in my stomach to try to help with the vomiting and I haven't vomited in almost a week now so that's great so I am feeling better with all these the combination little cocktail of medication that I'm taking but I'm glad to be feeling more like myself Unfortunately, I still have like no appetite like things look so appealing to me or I think like oh I'm cra so craving to eat this and then they get it for me and I eat like oh I just like barely touch it and I feel like I can't eat anymore So it's just really hard to eat so I'm hoping that that will improve because like every day I sit down to eat it's like it's torture for me. It's like a job for me to sit there and to try to eat right now. It's so horrible. So I am hoping that will get better. My cravings this week have been like sushi. Not like raw sushi, like cooked sushi or like vegetables with sushi and stuff like that. But I have just been craving sushi and like soy sauce, like the salty soy sauce. Oh, I've just been craving it so bad and fresh fruit and ice cream and I've like been buying fruity ice cream and oh I just love it right now. So that's kind of like what I'm living off of other than what I can force myself to eat. And I still have terrible terrible back pain and the sciatic nerve pain which I'm pretty sure I'm going to be dealing with the entire pregnancy since I did with the Eva and I'm guessing with this baby probably the same. I have felt the baby move a little bit more, just like the fluttery feeling, not like really movement, but I know I felt movement, 100% movement, like kind of starting to maybe move around and roll with Eva when I was about 16 or 17 weeks, so not too much longer. And I just can't wait to start to feel my baby moving. So that is really exciting. 
And this week, we don't have any appointments or anything for me. So we won't be going into the doctor until the 30th of December. So Steve will be able to come with me. So this time when we hear the heartbeat, he will be able to make a little video so we can record it so all of you can hear. So that's exciting. And as you can see, I have changed my hair. I felt like a slightly different new look. So I hope you like it. Let me know if you like my hair. Steve kind of thinks that he prefers the way it looked before, but I like it and I like the change. I was sick of having the same hair color and style and everything, so I like it. I'm happy with it. And yes, I did dye my hair. I already had a few comments. And I do know that some people do believe that it's not good to dye your hair in pregnancy, but as far as my doctor is concerned, I waited until I was in my second trimester to dye my hair, and it's safe for me to do that. I didn't have prolonged exposure to the dye, and I was in a well-ventilated room, so I feel like it's okay for me and for my decision. For me, I decided that it's okay for me and for my baby. Just like I did with Eva, three times I dyed my hair when I was pregnant with Eva, and Eva is 100% perfect and has always been perfect from the very beginning. And there's never been a concern of that, and my doctor told me there was no concern of me dyeing my hair as long as I waited until I was in the second trimester. So that hopefully will clear any questions up about that. Uh, feel free to post any questions you have below because I will be doing a question and answer video. And to those of you who follow me on Facebook, I'm really sorry that I couldn't have Steve in this video, but he was so tired last night and he didn't feel like going on the camera. It's like impossible to get him in a movie or a movie, well, a video right now because he's just like so exhausted and whenever he's home it feels like all we do is run around like constantly doing tons and tons of errands and I'm just hoping that when he comes home this time on the 23rd and he's home for two weeks that we get lots of time to rest and relax and to enjoy each other's company. So I'm going to go ahead and show you my 14 week three day belly and unfortunately I don't know what's happened to my measuring tape, but it's grown legs and walked off of me. I have a feeling it might be in Eva's room somewhere, but she's sleeping and I don't want to go in there. So, here we go. Of course, I'm wearing a sweater right now. So, here I am from the front. On the side. On the side. So I definitely feel like I'm getting bigger. I feel like I'm like getting more round from up here. I'm like my belly is really hard up here. So that's all for this week. Remember if you haven't done it already to like my fan page on Facebook. I'll put the link below as well as the link to my Twitter. So make sure you follow me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching.